All right, welcome everyone. Uh, Sean here, and once again, we are going to be um, trying out the the power. Well, excuse me, the rinseless power wash system that I'm trying to like experiment with. Uh, we did this last time as well with um, without a certain motor, and uh, it worked okay. But I was a little, I felt a little iffy about it, so that's why. I went ahead and bought myself a pressure pump of sorts. So what essentially is going to happen is essentially uh, everything else is the same except that uh, we have the motor in there. So it shouldn't be too hard to uh, integrate. And today should be the day where I pretty much get it down. Will I, I mean, even, and even so, will I use it every time? Uh, not so much, but. So essentially, this is what it looks like here. So here's my tank, aka the 10 gallon trash can. All right, and then let's throw that in there. Okay, and then we then throw these on. Make sure that's clicked in. Get this one clicked in. Okay. All right, so let's get this all plugged in. Well, kind of. Get this one, this one. So there's the motor. I'm not gonna actually plug it in just yet. Got that filled up. 
just the uh, actual tap water. And then just to be a little safe this time, I'm gonna under use the product by going uh, maybe even less, hold on. It's like a notch lower than um, once 0.75 maybe like just a little, little over one and a half ounces of rinse's wash as in this case because in this case it is actually you uh, better to underuse if that makes sense than to overuse the product <clears throat> And apparently, Rinsus Wash from DIY Detail, especially version 2, I guess, can be under diluted if that's for it. Um, more than 256 to 1. But 256 to 1 is like the quote unquote maximum slash standard. That's what I heard anyway. Or according to um, Ivan and Nick in a most recent uh, video. I'll just use my f finger for today. Okay. And now, um, I guess we can turn this one on and then turn this one on. And then you see those air bubbles as I shake it coming up. That is the process of trying to take out as much air as we can. Let me do it this way. As much as possible before we turn on the machines. Okay. So that seems all fine and dandy. No more bubbles coming out. That's the luxury of having a smaller tank because, you know, how would you do that with like an actual big, whatever, water tank that most uh, mobile detailers use. Nice overcast day, very perfect for a day or something like this. And uh, let me see, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Oh yeah, I was wondering what the rest of my stuff was. It's all right here. Okay, throw that in there. Let that get soaked. This one in there. This one. And that one. He's got to get this going. The thing is, is that the moment we plug this in, the machine will turn on. Wrong end. <laughs> so I need to get one of those like switches if I, if I am going to fully commit to this system. In a way, I guess. But for right now, this will be, this should be fine. I just have to uh, grab this hose real quick. <laughs> but this does have a pressure switch. So this should shut off at our convenience. All right, moment of truth. All right, just gotta find my All right, here we go. Oh, it's going. Oh. It's going. It's going. Oh, 
Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's clean. It, I spilled some of it. It's cleaning up the, the, the patio already. The porch. All right, hold on. All right. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> we just did a, did a, got a little spillage over here and then right here too. So. So I think next time I'm gonna have actually the gun on before we do anything else. Okay. So now I'm gonna plug it back in with the gun tucked in there all right so the motor stopped it's like clicking so I want to now do this uh, wait, we got purge out the air one put it on the car already why not all right so yeah essentially now it's working like a spray without the uh, pressure washer on so let's go go ahead and do that right, let me see let me just check all right turn it on yep and look at that it primed quickly thanks to the motor now we can just um go ahead and do that but before we do that yeah we got a bunch of poo right there oh we got some mad dirt up in here okay all right, hope you guys can see all this. See how dirty the car is. All right, especially the top layers. See that right there. Pretty dirty, right? So, all right. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's test it out a little bit. All right, I think she's ready. She is definitely ready. All right, here we go. Power rinse this wash. Here we go.
I'm gonna go unplug the motor, but this is what we got right here. Pretty cool. So we pretty much used half of it, I wanna say. But let me go unplug the motor before we talk any further. All right, so yeah, probably I would say halfway. Uh, and then I filled the tank up with like uh, approximately eight to nine gallons of water. So it gives you an idea of like, all right, it's probably likely um, four, and a, uh, four and a half to four gallons of uh, solution being used per um, rinse. And yeah. So pretty cool. Actually a little less than I thought. I'd be, I thought it'd be like five to six, but I think, well, just eyeballing it, it looks like we do have a considerable amount left. All things considered. Uh, yeah, so now that we got our rinseless done, the system is pretty much a success. So I'm pretty happy with that because of the motor now, the that um, pump motor save us its trouble. I'm a happy customer now. So, um, yeah, I definitely, yeah, so, well, now we have one little loose end. It's basically um, the switch, but that's an easy fix. Definitely an easy fix. Although it is annoying because I can't unplug the unit from here. I have to unplug it from like, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's over here. It's not so bad. Okay. So I can just plug it between here and then this, the system will be perfect. But yeah, that's the, the rinseless power wash system, right? So we got, um, you can see on the hood of how much we got off just with pressure and the rinse solution alone. I can probably probably even do a better job, but you know, I was a little conservative with the, uh, the water tank. So yeah. So yeah, nice stuff, good stuff, man. All right, so now, Go ahead, do our contact wash. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the system now. Again, it's just that switch and then we're good. We pretty much have ourselves a little rinseless power wash system at home. I guess you should call it the most powerful power wash, rinse, uh, rinseless power wash system you can have at your house. Kind of uh, interesting to see how the motor worked. Right. Pretty nice now. It would be pretty good for like, you know, semi bigger vehicles, like, a, like an SUV. Obviously, is, is it the most practical system? Definitely not. <laughs> you know, you don't need a little dedicated water tank and a pressure washer system and a pump motor for it, you know? It's all, it's all fun. It's all about experimenting, see what works, see what doesn't. And do I have fun with it? it is a big part of that too. And um, that sense of success 
is a big part of it, right? That satisfaction is definitely what I look forward to as well. And uh, it definitely like pumped, it, it like primed the, what do you call it, the hoses a lot faster than I thought. I thought it'd be a little slower than that, but no. It definitely got all that stuff in there. But we'll see how long that motor lasts and see if um, I can actually like properly gravity feed the um, my car share pressure washer or not without the motor because that's actual gravity feeding because now we're pump feeding so yeah but it is nonetheless still a, um, a rinseless power wash system Yeah, man, like detailing has been so funny to me, you know, like the whole story about like how I'm like, you know, so deep into the rabbit hole. I've been like staying up so late to just find like, what's the next best thing? How can I make my current stuff better? And, you know, and uh, I do lose sleep over it. <laughs> I think it's just so funny. But that's, just, that's what the hobby is all about, right? The passion, the hobby. It's just hilarious. I gotta tell you though, I think DIY, uh, Vince's wash, has slowly but surely taken over as my favorite rinseless in terms of just smell. That used to go to O&R, but I don't know, I just kinda, over time, things have changed, I guess, right? And that's what happens, man, things change. Just like the market, you know? It's ever evolving, you know? We're gonna have the next, you know, next kind of coating. You know, there was ceramic, now there's something else, maybe. I could, I could possibly make it to the market. It's like a net, you know, um, hypothetically speaking, like a lithium coating or something, something crazy, right? <sighs> something like super flexible, it won't crack or, you know, break have those like crevices or cracks over time. There's always something new that people are going to chase for. Right. All to just have a net, uh, same end result, which is to have a clean car essentially and keep it clean. That's all part of it though. That's all, that's all it is. Meanwhile, we're losing daylight faster and faster once again. Thus, the cycle of life. Well, at least we don't have to worry about watermarks or water spots. <laughs> it's because. There really is no sun, just clouds. Again, we're just perfect. Make sure I went over the windshield. So I feel like I did it. <laughs> oh yeah. Get the mirror. This side. I can't say, say uh, how Cerakote is holding up. 
I want to say it's about three months ish. We're hitting about coming up to three months because I did apply it during, um, I think it was like middle of July. So yeah, it's been about August, September. Yeah, so we're coming, we are coming up on three months. Jeez, time is passing already. So update on the DIY, no, not DIY, excuse me, Detail Co. stuff, including uh, Pan's Clean brand. Uh, I did get a notification, like the, literally the following morning I made that, uh, our, I recorded that uh, journal, me talking about the, the sort of problems, right? Um, it did tell me this, they did ship, so it should be coming this Tuesday as we, as we record this. So hopefully by the time this is this video is up, I get my stuff. And uh, we can definitely test out the hybrid wash and all that stuff. That's another thing to look forward to, right? You know? I'm trying to keep it so that I don't get myself so hyped up about products. Um, when it comes to the, clean, the cleaning products, or chemicals, I should say. Um, perhaps more so towards the actual hardware, like the sprayers and such. The only thing I am looking forward to, like super, like a lot at this point, is that IK foam battery sprayer, the e-foamer. Um, that would be pretty cool, even though there's, there's been another, a number of others at this point, but they're like, you know, to be fair, I guess they're, they are pretty inconsistent. So you just never know what you get. At, at least with our, um, IK, they are pretty reliable for the most part. So there is that sort of like sense of assurance that when you buy their stuff, you know, they'll it'll last a lot longer than the third party stuff on Amazon. Not to say that any, not to say that, um, you know, any of that stuff is bad or anything. It's just, it, you're more likely to run into those sort of problems. I've had one of those e-foamers from Amazon, you know, the sort of, uh, I don't wanna say it's Chinese brand or anything, but you know, those sort of brands, like those unknown brands. But um, yeah, one of those actually like broke down on me. So, you know, I have my fair share of experiences like that. So, all right. Oh yeah. The alloy detail just feels very nice under the, the towel, man, the drying towel. When it comes to like other pressure washers, I, I was like kind of looking at them. I saw the Ava and conceptually the Ava is great, but I think Ava's parts, the replacement parts is really bad. Like the replacement part game is pretty bad because a number of their parts is not available from what I've seen. And um, it's all like self proprietary, meaning that you can only get their parts. You can't like, interchange it with your own hose of choice stuff like that for example um, i think a gun is fine but yeah but even the gun the parts is scarce i think especially the adapter the adapter i, I uh, at least what i found was not available but yeah um maybe like in some places have them but you know just that fact makes me hesitate like hmm you know the next pressure washer if my car sure or something, you know, whenever that breaks down, I don't know. Would, would I ever get another one? I don't know. All right. Looks like the streaking is non-existent this time around. I know I uh, turned off my GoPro because my heels actually hurting my head. <laughs> it's like squeezing my head. But if I don't like 
have it tight, it'll like just wiggle around my, on my head. So that's another problem. So that's why I can only have the GoPro on for so long. It's been about an hour. So and we're almost halfway done with drying, but drying is usually pretty easy. <clears throat> pretty easy nowadays. Oh, is that a bug? Man. I've said it in the past, bugs love clean cars. The Prius has had its own history, I guess in a way. I mean, every car has a little history, but um, I've been trying to tell my sister to use the, the, rent, the waterless solution I've made for her, but she kept forgetting. <laughs> so I'm trying to remind her just to make sure because all she does <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've said this. I, I think I've, I've, I've had before, but I kind of like, like said it and then not really explain it. But yeah, it's she just cleans it with water. And I know for people who are enthusiasts would be like, oh my God, no, why? My God, why? <laughs> but the things that, you know, average Joes do, right? There are worse, I think. There are worse. Some people, ju people just take the duster, like I have. But I was a kid, to be fair. I was a, a teen with a driver's license. And I had the California duster, man. And I rubbed that all over my dark blue Lexus I had in the past. So shame on me. Yep, and then only when I clean the wheels and stuff that's when it gets a little dirty the bucket i mean it is getting cooler and cooler though but at least i'm getting i, I got quicker and quicker at my quick car washer so i can kind of like mess around at that point and do other things to uh to make sure everything is tip top like my garden hose stuff i actually have to switch out my uh, chlorine filter from the garden hose Cause it's been over it's been that time i just haven't uh really gotten around to it i don't know if it's just the lighting but the tires are still pretty clean looking i did only use just the uh what do you call um the turtle wax tire spray coating the graphing acrylic stuff what do you call it from hybrid solutions their hybrid solutions lineup turtle wax will help me kind of got, got me back into uh detailing in a way funny enough i love their stuff and i thought i was going to be a, a turtle wax connoisseur main wait if you if you will but other stuff came out i found out you know I, I got into that rabbit hole and i just found a whole bunch of other brands including uh, diy detail and i think funny because by the time i got back into it or getting back into it they just started diy detail so it's like this weird fate kind of thing you know which I find kind of funny. But in any case, look at that beauty. I know the lighting's not the best since we're losing the sunlight faster, but that is a clean car. So let me get on my GoPro and uh, take you guys around once again. Okay, so here we are. I just got the lights to help kind of show off the, the car, the sheen, the cleanness. All right, once again, we have a clean Prius. Kind of want to do work on the, uh, the trim on the bottom, so I'll take care of that in, in a moment. But nonetheless, though, no poo, all that stuff. 
kind of get the point, right? You know the drill. And so, so that's how we, how much we have left still. I didn't really use any more of it. Um, yeah. So, I'm thinking, what should I do with it? I mean, I could just let it sit here, but I don't know how fair it will do. Well, I will use it tomorrow, and then that way I can, uh, quote unquote, empty the tank and all that fun stuff. But yep, the pressure washer and the motor and the bucket right there, or the container rather, trash can, 10 gallons. It's uh, the winning combination for a rinseless power wash. So that was the missing link essentially between the two pretty much. Again, the uh, missing link now is a switch. So that will be an easy fix. That will be um, no problem. And we'll continue uh, using it when we feel like it or when I feel like it. But yeah, it's, it's nice, you know. Got the whole idea from Levi, from Rag Company, all the mobile detailers, right? And then some tips and tricks <clears throat> from certain other mobile detailers, all that fun stuff. Don't wanna, you know, it's not an original idea or anything, but I kind of felt like I incorporated all those philosophies and things. <laughs> and yeah, and this is the result of it. And that's the end result. All right, well, that's it, guys. That is uh, that is the rinseless power wash uh, system that I have uh, mostly perfected for the most part for a house system, pretty much. Uh, so pretty much what we need is a... Uh, 10 gallon container of sorts because that's like the that's like a, a a good number for it right you don't want 22 i think that's too much at that point in my opinion if you want to hey that's your choice uh, perhaps you can even like uh still use two ounces of product uh rentless product and then go at it because you know you're because you're using you're using the pressure to uh, blast off all that crap anyway so yeah you know <laughs> Ain't she a beauty, <laughs> this Toyota Prius. If you have any comments or anything like that, um, leave it down below. Love to read them and check them out and hopefully answer some questions. Um, uh, like and subscribe, most importantly, because that helps out and I do appreciate it. Humidity is coming in, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for realsies. So yeah, this is today's uh, wash with the rinseless power wash, perfected mostly for the most part. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, next time, we're gonna uh, try out the mods I did for the detail kegs. Can't wait for that. Uh, featuring, uh, bringing back, of course, the Mini Cooper, so, or the Mini Countryman. So, uh, thank you very much, and hope to see you all in the next one. And remember, let's keep it simple and clean. As I said that with that power wash system over there. <laughs> all right, thank you. And hope to see you all in the next one. Shout out.